Richtig. Guys, we continue. It's looking good. Waiting on the hitch to dry. Even painting the spacers for the hitch. I actually forgot what they go. Oh yeah, no, these guys go go here. So they were a little bit rusty. Not too worried about removing all the paint and the rust because of that paint. You know, the chassis saver that should insulate it and be good so that's that that has been painted and treated with the Amsoil stuff but there is an issue with the well with this guy it's mounted on the hitch on the from the bottom um, it's the driver's side and look look at it it got hit so actually the damage on the hatch the bumper and all that stuff so this actually got hit it's, it's a little better now, but I still got to work on it. You can see how this is all bent up out of shape. So we're going to use, and this is also bent. So we are going to use heat. Try and squeeze it straight with the vise. I guess the vise is taking the heat away. So this may be a while. Trying to make it so the hook is straight to the surface, the flat surface here. It's much better. It was literally like much, much angled. Wish I could, wish this was gone, this blue Subaru. I don't like it. It's much better, but it's. I wonder if I can get a new one. Hmm. I'm gonna let it cool on its own for a little bit and paint it. Update, guys. The bumper is off. Very easy. Very easy to take off. Obviously, I already had this off. The, the mud flaps. There is screws, one here, one on the other side. The, the mud flap screws are pretty obvious. Then there is another a set of obvious screws on the bottom. Then there is 
another set four, six obvious screws <laughs> right here in the back, back of the bumper, and two clips here and other side. Now I'm missing something. I'm missing this plastic piece, whatever this does right here. That's where that goes. You can see there's a dent because remember it got hit from this side. Then I'll take the, I guess the latch off with two T45s screws or bolts. Then the bumper just literally just slides off. So easy. Then you're going to have the styrofoam piece right on top. Pull that off and voila. There is the the back part of the frame. I am going to take this part of the towing hook off. We got some 17s on the bottom and the four up here. Clean this off. Paint it with chassis saver. Clean all this off here. Make it nice and shiny. Try to get in. Well, no, because the inside of the frame was already sprayed with wax, so I'm not going to worry about the inside. But this is this is just. I mean, look at this. It's got even some shine to it too, still. So I'm going to paint that with chassis saver. Spray a little bit more on top of the places that I've missed uh, with the wax thing, and the rear is going to be officially done. And. I did order some WeatherTech formats, as you can see or not. That's the back. Check this out. A whole set all across there in the back. This is just awesome. I was debating between black and gray. I'm glad I chose the gray. And these are just perfection, guys. I mean, look at the fitment over here. It is perfect they even give you two of these hooks here i guess one i had one so i just used one but they give you, they give you two obviously when you know because i just i just put these in so once this car is warm several times and maybe during summertime you know and these will this these should come down and make even a better fitment just spray the hitch with clear gloss here by Rustoleum, good stuff. Only the top area here, okay, because this kind of sticks out a bit. As far as I can remember, I think, I don't know if this actually sticks out, I know this sticks out, but I sprayed basically the top here so this doesn't fade away. Remember the chassis saver paint fades, it's not UV protected in direct sunlight. So I'm gonna give it another coat and this is going to be done ready for install tomorrow these parts are drying up these i'm just going to spray wax on these moving along making some progress guys it's this is time consuming but it's a lot of work but it's worth it